Hey, baby, where are you going? We're headed on an adventure. I hope we're not going to Memphis. I hope not either. Elvis is not there. He had to leave the building. Welcome to Thousand Trails Notches Trace Wilderness Preserve, where today I'm going to walk you through this beautiful campground and show you some of the amenities. When you pull into Notches Trace, you're going to um, stay to the right and stop and register right here at the registration building. RV is clearly marked on the side of the road, so you know which side to pull up your RV on. This is a registration building. You will get out of your RV and come inside. You will need to show um, ID and register for the campground or pick up your packet if you've pre-registered. Here's an example of an RV pulled off to the right going into the ranger station to check in. This campground is divided into three huge areas and I'm going to take you um, to them each one by one. We're going to start at area one where we're at and work our way around the park. You can stop by the registration office and pick up an activity sheet. At the beginning of each week, they have activities going on throughout the weekends. At the ranger station, there is a whiteboard and you can check for any activities or any announcements that are um, going on in the park that week. Inside the ranger station is where you'll pick up any mail um, that you might have at $2 a package. You can also get your equipment for the um, miniature golf here as well. I absolutely love the decor of old rock walls and wooden fences when they are surrounding the campground. We have a little restaurant and the trading post. And we're going to try that later this week and show you what that food looks like and let you know how it tastes. So this is the breakfast menu. They serve breakfast here from 7 to 10.30 a.m. They also serve lunch here, but they close two hours before the trading post closes. Today we decided to go simple. Cheeseburgers and onion rings. Mm. Cheeseburger and tater tots with cheese inside. Yeah, but the onion rings are really good. They're <laughs> really good. Different, huh? Tater tots with cheese inside them. Oh, Hold still. Yeah. It's pretty good. If you need something, check out the trading post. They have a little bit of everything here. You can pick up some fishing bait here at the trading post. Let's check and see what kind they have. 18 Canadian night crawlers. Or you can get some big red worms. If you're near the training post, they do have restrooms in here. You need to be aware of all the areas because it's a big campground. The training post can be accessed from the public road or it can be accessed from the campground. If you need some fresh ice, you can get it here. You can purchase propane right here at the training post. Just check in with the times, pull up your rig and fill it up. If you like to visit the Amish, they're in the area. They even come out to the campground to do some work from time to time. It's nothing like beautiful roses. Absolutely love these rose bushes. Careful those thorns though. The trading post from the campground side. So you can also get ice on this side so you don't have to carry it through the store. They also have air. Of course the air costs $2, so make sure you have plenty of quarters. If you don't want to eat inside, there's a couple of picnic tables right here under this beautiful big tree. You can just enjoy your food outside or a nice icy cold beverage. If you need some firewood, they also sell it here at the store. Just ask inside. Their pavilion is pretty fancy here. It has a huge parking area. You're definitely not going to get wet at this pavilion unless you go all the way through because at the other side, you can see the pool. The pool is fenced in. It's a big pool. I've heard good things about it. Of course, this is seasonal and the pool is closed right now. There's also a bathhouse here as well. We're going to start our tour by looking at area one, which is where we're parked at. So I'll definitely show you our area first and we'll move on from there. In the front area in area one, they have a full court basketball area for you. So you can uh, dribble it down, take a shot. And the hoops look like they're in good shape as well. And the backboards look good as well with new nets. They even have a tetherball. I absolutely love playing tetherball. Let's see if we can hit it again. No. I absolutely love this against the green grass. They have a big red community barn. I can just envision huge southern barn dances in here. They even have Edison light bulbs hooked to poles and around concrete 
pad outside of the barn. And here you go, an old fashioned playground. I like this in the south, and they're not afraid of the old playground equipment, but don't fret, there are other play areas here as well in the other sections of the park. Love the teeter totters. Anybody remember sitting on top of one of these and thinking you were king of the hill? Or burning your hands trying to cross one of these? Those were the good old days. They have a gaga pit here as well, which to me is just a little safer version of dodgeball. Under this beautiful shaded group of trees, they have a horseshoe area. Though it looks lovely, I'm not sure it's very functional. You don't see all the pieces that we need. Upon this mound, there are a group of pine trees, and this is a place where you can tent camp in area one. It has fire rings and picnic tables and beautiful views. There's a huge baseball area or just a ball area, whatever kind of ball you want to play. They keep it well groomed. And there's a huge batting area that you can use as well. If you like walking tracks, there's a huge walking track here, opal shaped, that you can walk around and around and around. But if you're like me, you just soon pick a trail in the woods. In the middle of a walking track, there is a group fire pit for anyone to use. Surrounding the miniature golf is a nice little fence. I'm not sure who they're gonna keep out with that, but it's very ornamental. You can pick up your equipment in the ranger station and drop it back off. It looks like there's several rounds for you to try out. They can even have some resting benches in the center of the miniature golf if you get tired. Just hang out there. And a cute little decorative barn set up right in front of the miniature golf area. This place is huge, so most of your areas where you meet up or enjoy activities, there is parking for you. And it looks like the resting area is in use today. Most of the sites are full hookups, but if you don't get one with sewer, there are several dump stations throughout the park, one in each area. They're pretty easy to access, and they have water for flushing out, not potable. They have a fenced-in tennis court with lights. There are two nets here, and they have their tennis court rules posted. No street shoes. Games, game time restricted to one hour, no smoking, and no vent beverages or glasses on the board. It's a huge court. I'm going to let you look at it and be the judge of what you think. There are two nets. If you like to practice soccer, there's a nice uh, couple of soccer nets out here that you can drag out and practice soccer with your kids. Or if you're a grown-up who loves soccer, there you go. This is a beautiful lake. And on Saturdays, the last past few Saturdays we've been here, there's been a lot of people coming over and having a good time. It may be a small beach area, but it packs a lot of fun. So I heard um, from the manager that they plan on putting a little water playground out here. Some days it's just so peaceful here. And others, it's a party on the lake. There's a floating dock here that they'll stick in the water later on as it gets warmer. That's not uh, stopped anybody from swimming here. They also have boat rental, and you can check that out at the ranger station. Check this little beach out. They're swimming and playing and kayaking right here in front of our RV. The pool is not open here at the campground, so we are in the lake swimming. There's been plenty of people here. It's been beautiful weather and a great time to go swimming. So let's just check out the temperature with Fling. All right, we'll check and see what it reads. A nice 84. Oh wait, let me take that back. A nice 76 in here, but it feels really nice. This is a huge park, but there's a few spots open here at the beachfront. And we were blessed to get us one this last past two weeks. There's a nice little bridge that comes from the cabins over to the beach area. There are several small canals that are um, off the lake. A little bit of fishing going on. A lot of picnicking here throughout the weekend. I have a fire down here. A little bit of fishing, a little picnicking, swimming. There are a few boat slips down here as well. They have a fish cleaning station here right on the lake. You do need a um, fishing license, a Tennessee State fishing license to fish here, but you can obtain that right up here at the trading post. Keep in mind, this is a no-wake lake. 
there is a nice little boat ramp for you to launch your boat off on. Keep it kind of cool. No speeding here. If you brought your boat along, you can park your boat trailer right here on this big, huge piece of grass. There have been several, several trailers here throughout the weekend. I right, guess you can even park your boat here on the trailer while you're staying. Well, someone made this boat pretty comfortable. Your cooler, your chair, and umbrella, fishing poles, ready to hit the beach. I already hit the river. So if you stay here on the lake front, it's a little circle, and you can park facing the lake in about eight or nine spots. We have a trash bin here for us so we don't have to walk too far. And right behind the row of RVs, there is the bathhouse. Men's on one side, women's on the other. Let's go check it out. The bathhouse here on the lake has one shower, a place to hang your stuff. Let's check out this shower. Wow, looks like a nice little install. Pretty new. There are two flushable toilets in here. You have electricity in here if you want to come blow dry, blow dry your hair or whatever it is you do with the electricity in the bathroom, a sink, and a mirror. So there's not room to park your trucks by your RV, but they do have a parking area right behind the RV section. This huge field is pretty good for soccer, baseball, football. Any other sport or any other activity you can think of right here and they keep it well maintained. So they have a pretty huge dog park here. It's pretty long. It's grassy and it has a couple of tubes for the dogs to play in. A couple places for you to sit. An area for you to clean up after your dog. They have a dog waste station right here at the park for you. Complete with bags and a place to throw away your um, dog waste. There are actually two of them. There's one on each side. It's a pretty long park, so if you don't want to walk all the way across the park, yeah, you can come to either side. So there are two gates, two dog stations, and the dog park rules are listed right here. The dog park is in a big open field, so they have provided a little bit of shade for you while you watch your dogs play. They provide water for you here at the dog park as well. However, bring your own bowl. I don't see one here. There's plenty of room here for them to run. It's pretty long, all the way down to that end. A little agility tube. That you can practice them up play. The cabin section down here by the lake. They're beautiful. They come in um, looking over the lake with a little porch. The cabins look like they are duplexes. They have fire rings and grills and tables and a back porch with furniture overlooking the lake. Kind of gives you an idea how small the um, RV portion of the lakeside is. If you don't have an RV and you're interested in a tiny house, you can come here and rent a tiny house. They have a village of them right here on this campground. So another place that we have seen um, tiny houses is in Sunshine Key in the Florida Keys. And it's they're overlooking the beach here. You're overlooking the lake. Check out this patio view. Got a big yard with trees and a beautiful waterfront. The little tiny houses have names. The first one is Lila. She's a petite retreat. This little petite retreat is Braxton, a music prodigy. The tiny houses share a centrally located fire pit with benches of looking the water. Who wouldn't want to rent one of these? I even want to. They have designated a few spots uh, as annuals only. Now there are a few scattered out throughout the park, but mostly there's a couple of locations that it's just a loop of annuals. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this road is pretty long and it's in between each one of the different phases of this park. If you go up the hill from the full-time residence, you're gonna find some more cabins, the tent camping, a bathhouse, and a laundry room. These cabins give you more of a woodsy area with just a glimpse of water throughout the thick brush and trees. They look very similar to the ones that are down by the lake. You'll find a laundry and bathhouse in the tent and cabin section. So the laundry room is open 24 hours here. There are three washing machines in this particular laundry room. They um, have coin and CSC. The washing machines here cost $2.75. There are three dryers 
They also accept coins in the CSC app, and there are 250 for the dryers. They have a few folding tables in here as well, and places to hang your clothes if you need. I'm always into the signs. Laundry, iron, <laughs> that's me, ha ha ha. Not happening today, that wasn't up in the military. Sort today, wash later, and do it yourself. The restroom throughout the phases are all the same except the one down by the lake. They kind of look like a Western theme. This one has three stalls, three shower stalls. They have a little changing area inside the shower stall with hooks to hang up your stuff, seat to sit down on, a shower curtain, and your shower. There is one sink, electricity, and a mirror in here for you. We're coming down into the tent portion of the campground. The tent sites are very well marked. They come with a picnic table, a nice concrete pad. They have fire rings for your convenience, and absolutely beautiful views of the lake. A little piece of paradise right here in Tennessee. From the cabins, if you come around the curve and up the hill, you're gonna find phase one, the bathhouse and the laundry here as well. In phase one, back behind the transient sites, there is another group or round circle for annuals only. There are plenty of sites to choose from in this campground. There are lots of community fire rings throughout the campground. There are many places here to host community activities or parties or gatherings. So many of the sites don't have sewer, so there is a dump station in every section of the park. So phase one also has a laundromat and a bathhouse here, and they look the same as the others. There is a shuffleboard here as well. Phase one has a playground, a little more updated than the one down by the lake. One of the first loops in phase one. Very woodsy, quiet, serene. And as you can see, the little honey wagon's coming in from one of the RVs. So going way up the road, up the hill, you are going to find phase two, the town hall. Another bathhouse, but not a laundry room. At the top of the hill, you'll find a bright orange fence. And you will see that this is the beginning of some hiking trails. They have a gate for you to go through to get to these hiking trails. Just push them around and go down. The orange gate is to keep all motorized vehicles off your trails because they are pretty wide paths that look like you could put an um, ATV on, but um, for hiking only. If you want to take a picture or check on all trails, they have two different routes that you can take. Around the curve and at the top of the hill is the town hall. The town hall is divided up into three different sections. You can tell it by the rooftops. Each one has a different section. So there's a huge parking lot. So you can park if you want to ride up here to the town hall because this is such a big park, um, unless you like to walk a lot. So this is where um, Fred and I have been going to church on Sundays while we've been here. It's called Wilderness Chapel. They've been awesome here, very friendly. So this is the parking lot in front of Town Hall where we're headed into church this morning. It's a pretty nice turnout, right? It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. So let's go in and do some worshiping. At the Town Hall, there's a storm shelter and there are plenty of signs directing you there. And they have had to use the storm shelter before. This is building one of the Town Hall. And when you come into the campground, they'll give you a page that will explain exactly which each building is used for. This is the memory garden. Old campers never die. They just travel on to the campground in the sky. And if you keep following the signs, I'll give you more signs. And the storm shelter is down below. Looks like they have a movie theater in building one, but it is locked for now. The hallway is decorated with popcorn and movie reels. In building one and the upstairs, you'll find the movie theater. Downstairs is the fitness center. The rules for the gym are posted. Inside, they have a racquetball court. Building number two, in the middle of the town hall, 
is the recreation office. It has a library, an adult lounge, a game room, restrooms, and a kids lounge. Downstairs, you'll find the wilderness chapel and a craft room. Lots of things to see and do here. In building number two, you're going to see the recreation area. They have air hockey, pool table, foosball. If you're into ping pong, they have a couple of paddles and a few balls. They have a nice TV area with a couple of chairs. Fred discovered that the TV has Netflix. If you like to play poker, bring some friends, a deck of cards, and some chips. Across from the recreation area, there is a library full of books, puzzles, and movies that you can exchange. There's a cozy little area here as well if you want to just sit back and read in a little quiet spot. Of course, like most of your rec rooms, there is a restroom in here for you. If you want a little quieter spot away from all the game playing, there's a nice little room in here for TV checkers or puzzles. The couches look a little cozier in this room. Remember Wilderness Chapel, Sunday at 9 a.m. Non-denominational and a great service. Building number three, the town hall. The big meeting area. Or if you like bingo, this is where you head. And they have a huge fireplace, as well as a huge meeting area where they play bingo and do other games. There's a cute little kids area right in the corner of the events area. So today is bingo day where they have bingo boards and food. I like the lanterns across the Coke machine here. So hopefully they'll host some barbecues out here. They have a nice deck with Edison bulb lights. Be a nice place to sit down and enjoy the evening with a cool drink. At the end of the town hall, at the very end of the park, there is one last circle or group of sites that you can choose from that also have amenities in them. I do like how they clearly mark the sites that um, the electricity doesn't work at. So if you come to a site that has a red bag across the electrical box, then definitely don't pick that one. At the end of the campground, there's one more bathhouse. This bathhouse does not have a laundry room, but it does have a women and men's area and showers and baths. So on this property, we have four bathhouses, two laundry mats, all for your convenience. My favorite playground in the park is at the end, the very last section, which has a nice cool shady place for the kids to play and for you to sit and rest. There's a nice slide on top of a jungle gym that you can explore. There's a little climbing wall, as well as some little boxes to play underneath. Playground is not full unless you have a tire swing, of course, right? This swing set is big enough for both children and adults. One of my favorite things to do is to still swing. They have a gaga pit here, which is just a, a calmer, game of dodgeball, which my kids love to play. Of course, my kids are all adults, but that's okay. If you have a tinier little one and there's too many kids that are being rough, they can come over here right next to the bigger play set, and there's a little play set. Of course, this nice playground and gaga ball pit is right beside a pavilion, so if you want to have a birthday party or a family gathering, you can just um, plan it right here. So we have our seagull out and ready to go kayaking. I'm going to spend the day or the afternoon on the lake. And if you want to see how we uh, put this together, we'll link that above and you'll find it in our Beth Page tour. And there she goes in the great tradition of Mary Wilder Lewis, exploring the waterways of Tennessee. We're going to see just how big this lake is today. Backside view of the cabins from the kayak. So I can either be out here looking in or on the porch looking in. Everything's so green and lush and beautiful. So we have bass fishermen, some other boaters around here. Just enjoying the lake today.
going to give you a quick tour of our spot. Um, won't take long because they're kind of tiny. They have the buddy um, system. So we have a fire ring and shared picnic table here. And we are door to door with the next door neighbor. We are at L4 and it is 50 amp only. And it is full hookup. So you have water and sewer as well. The sites are small, so the parking area is across Little Road right behind you. We have this beautiful lakefront view, and our favorite place was to sit in front and just enjoy watching the lake or when people were being active in the area. All right, it's time for the Knott's Trace Cellular Service Report. Well, what cellular service? If you got AT&T, you're doing pretty good at 67.6 down and 7.46 up but if it's t-mobile or verizon in your bag you might as well just go out and play in the lake which by the way isn't really a bad idea had a great time here you're gonna love it try to get on the beach it's a little rough in the back country but overall we had a great time so we'll see you next time <music>